welcome everybody to this session on lecture number 8 <coughs> uh, in fact it is in continuation with what we have been uh, talking about yesterday that is uh, trying to understand the uh, human being while we were talking about human being we said that we can when we explore ourselves we find that human being is coexistence of self and body we also saw that their needs are different their uh, activities are different and their response are different and we discussed in some detail about the needs you know how the need of the self which is continue which is happiness is continuous in time and qualitative in nature where is the need of the body you know which is in terms of physical facilities is temporary in time and quantitative in nature and we said that these are two different types of need and therefore these two needs have to be fulfilled separately and one cannot be replaced by the other or one cannot be taken care of by the other so this is what we said in essence today what we intend to do is to just look at some you know finer details of it and uh, kind of uh, clarify that you know how these needs are are and how they are different from each other and when uh, you go to fulfill these needs you know we need to ensure both of them you know separately and just by ensuring one the other cannot be taken care of so <clears throat> let's look at that uh if you look at the need of the self we said this is continuous happiness we need we want happiness we desire for happiness for the self and this happiness in continuity right now this need for happiness we saw is the need of the self of the consciousness and if you try to fulfill this and of course we said that this need is you know continuous in time and it is qualitative in nature qualitative in the sense that it is in the form of a feeling you know, and not something you know physical therefore if you try to fulfill this need which is of continuous happiness you know and which is qualitative in time in terms of feeling so when we try to fulfill this need we find that this can be fulfilled with right understanding and right feeling now this right understanding is an activity of the consciousness and this right feeling is also an activity of the consciousness so we can see that this need of happiness which is the need of the consciousness is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling which is the activity of the consciousness so this is very important to note that this need for happiness is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling and this right understanding is taking place in this self this right feeling is taking place in this self so basically they are the activities of the self so the need of consciousness need of the self is fulfilled by the activities of the self and not by the material things so we keep mentioning that however conducive the environment may be you know we may be sitting in an air conditioned room with 21 degrees centigrade but if i have a feeling of opposition for the person with whom i am sitting for example your boss then you will find that you are not in harmony within and therefore not in a state of happiness within however the physical conditions are all very fine so this need for happiness is fulfilled by the activities of consciousness that is right understanding and right feeling which is not material in nature 
split. It is not material in nature. So this is a very important and very significant thing to note. Very important and very significant thing to note that need of the consciousness is fulfilled by the activities of the consciousness and not by the material things. So however conducive you try to make your material things, including the body, it does not guarantee you happiness. Leave it on the continuity of happiness. So this is a very important proposal. I would say take it as a proposal, but take it as a very important proposal which we have to start investigating in our you know, day-to-day -day life. And not only day-to-day -day life, I would say we have to investigate it every moment. Because the difference between the need of the self and the need of the body is that need of the self is continuous in time. Whereas the need of body is temporary in time. So need of the body has to be fulfilled from time to time. Need of the self has to be fulfilled continuously. Every moment. So now we have to start observing every moment our own self and see whether we are in a state of happiness or we are in a state of unhappiness. Whether we are in a state of harmony or we are in a state of contradiction. So this is something which has to be looked into and verified by each one of us and every moment. That particular moment, you are in a state of contradiction within, in a state of unhappiness within. So I keep, you know, quoting this example that one of my friends came with his son. He just completed his B.Tech from Rurki IIT. And, you know, he wanted me to talk to him. And then we had some discussion. And at one point of time, this young boy, you know, with a lot of arrogance, said, look, uncle, you know, I want good breakfast. And when I get a good breakfast, I feel happy. And I look for a good lunch. And when I get a good lunch, I feel happy. And I don't want to compromise with it. So I said, I don't want to snatch away your you know, happiness at the time of breakfast and at the time of lunch. But tell me, do you want to be happy, you know, in between these three hours, you know, between lunch and dinner, lunch, I mean, breakfast and lunch? He said, yes, I want to be happy. I said, what are you doing to ensure this happiness during these three hours? So we, it is good to be happy at this time of breakfast and it is also good to have, be happy at the time of lunch. But what about in between these three hours? Now this is the question that we have to you know, keep asking every moment to ourselves. Am I in a state of harmony and happiness at this moment of time and the next moment of time and next moment of time? This is what we have to start studying. <coughs> I said, okay, now let's see you have a feeling of opposition for someone and you want to take revenge from him, right? You think he did some mistake, severe mistake, and you must take revenge. You insult, he insulted you or something. Now for two hours, you are thinking of how to take revenge. And after two hours, you drop the idea. Now the question is, what happened, you know, during these two hours? Were you in a state of happiness or unhappiness, a state of harmony or contradiction? <clears throat> the answer is simple, right? These two hours, you were in a state of contradiction and unhappiness, right? Now, the other person does not even know about it, right? But you have suffered. You have suffered for two hours. Now, what we are saying is, that this is very important. As far as self is concerned, it is very important. These two hours, every moment, with that feeling of opposition, you know, I have suffered unhappiness. <clears throat> so, 
So this is the need of the self, and it is fulfilled by the activities of the self, activity of the consciousness, like right understanding and right feeling. So this is <coughs> one important proposal that we have to start verifying right? by being aware of our own self, by being aware of what is going on in the self, by being aware of whether this is, you know, leading to state of harmony within or contradiction within, whether leading to a state of happiness within or unhappiness within. So all this we will have to do. And it's an ongoing process. You know, what we intend to do in this course is to introduce this proposal and introduce this process of self-investigation. Slowly the things will unfold with a lot of patience. So UHB 1 will initiate the process, then UHB 2 and 3 and so on will slowly you know, reinforce it. But it's a good beginning of the process and if we take it seriously, we'll be able to make you know, kind of significant progress. So this is about the need of the self. So the need of the body is physical facility, which is material thing. And it has to be fulfilled by something material. If you look at the body, the body itself is material in nature. Self is of the nature of consciousness, while body is of the nature of material. So this need of the material is fulfilled by the material things. Like we saw that the need of the self, which is consciousness, is fulfilled by the activities of the consciousness. Similarly, the need of the, of course, this material thing you know, is to be ensured by the involvement of the self, the consciousness. But this need of the body cannot be fulfilled by just the activities of consciousness. <clears throat> so however good we think, however good feelings we have, right, that will not ensure the nurturing of the body. For nurturing the body, I need to have some physical facility. <clears throat> right? Some material thing is required. So to ensure the fulfillment of the need of the body, which is material in nature, we need something material, right? <clears throat> so need of the material is fulfilled by the material things. So this is very important observation. For you, it is a proposal which you have to investigate, explore and find out that your need of the self, which is consciousness, is fulfilled by the activity of the self the activity of consciousness and need of the body which is material in nature is fulfilled by material things. So this is what we have to work on. As I said, when it, you are working for the need of the self, you have to work on it every moment. When you are looking for the need of the body, it, you have to look at this whenever you are paying attention towards the body, whenever you are interacting with the body, you have to see that this body has a need and which is, which can be fulfilled by the material things, physiochemical things. Yes. <clears throat> so whatever we are saying here, you know, is something which will, you know, set up the process of self-exploration, self-investigation, and it will be an ongoing process. So till the end of the course, We'll keep working on it. And as I said, in the higher courses also, we may need to work further, you know, on this. In fact, many of the answers that we are giving now may not be very, you know, uh, kind of uh, uh, appropriate for you in the beginning. Okay. But as you go along and work on yourself, they will become more and more clear. <laughs> So one of the gross misunderstanding which uh, uh, takes place, you know, if you do not have this clarity about and the body and the coexistence of the two, if you cannot differentiate between consciousness and the material, 
if we cannot see the you know difference between their need and their activities and how these needs are fulfilled then you know it leads to a lot of confusion lot of misunderstanding and what the most of the problem that we are facing today we can see is because of this lack of clarity between you know consciousness and the material so this difference between the consciousness and the material if we do not have this clarity then we can keep confusing one for the other right and then there is lot of problems all around so let us look at this right if we think that self is you know not there i am just the body then effectively i am i am equating self to the body and if i am equating the self to the body then the need of the self is equated to the need of the body so we start thinking that the need of the self for example respect can be fulfilled by physical facility right for example if i eat good food i will be happy right if i wear good clothes you know i will get respect from me others if i am eating food which is of which is supposed to be you know very prestigious and if i am eating that food through physical facility i can get respect this is a you know kind of <clears throat> misunderstanding that we create if we are not able to differentiate between the self and the body and the need of the self and the need of the body now what's you confuse between the two and now thinking that you know through clothes i can get respect respect which is required in continuity so it is a feeling which has to be ensured in continuity now if we try to ensure respect in continuity through clothes then we are in trouble then we try think that we need unlimited amount of clothes if you are thinking in terms of how much clothes is required for protecting my body from heat from cold you can always decide so you need four pairs in a season so you need 12 pairs you may need 24 pairs instead of 12 but this will always be definite you know limited in number you can always define the number it can be more or less but if you are trying to ensure respect through cloth then any amount of cloth will not you know getting very exclusive clothes right? and you go to the party right? you go with the expectation that people will respect you right? there are two problems one is when you go there you can find out you know by looking at this exclusive dress people feel a feeling or have a feeling of respect for you or a feeling of jealousy for you so this is one thing you can verify but the other thing is that even if they have a feeling of respect for you right they will pay attention for a moment they may ask you where did you get it and all that but then they will get busy with something else so you can't keep drawing the attention of the people right by wearing an exclusive dress if it is creating the feeling of <coughs> jealousy then it is worse so we can see that if you try to fulfill the need of the self through physical facility which relates to the need of the body then we will get into a trouble and this trouble is that we will think that need of cloth is unlimited so you have to keep buying new clothes different clothes you know different styles and that is what we are doing if you look at the whole civilization today you know if you look at the city you know look at their consumption pattern people are just buying and buying and accumulating and they don't know what to do with it 
previously they used to give it to their maids but now maid situation so they are not even wanting it to take it all facilities unlimited and this is because we are equating the self to the body we are equating the need of the self to the need of the body and we think that the need of the self which is continuous in nature can be fulfilled by physical facility right? which is temporary and which is limited in quantity now once you get into this then you are in a vicious cycle so if you look at this vicious cycle so when you think that the need for physical facility is unlimited and when you look around you find that the physical facility that you have may be more but it is still limited and therefore you have a feeling of deprivation you feel deprived you think that you need to accumulate more and more right so you go about accumulating more and more and however more you accumulate you still find that the needs this physical facility you have is still limited where is you want unlimited so you have a feeling of deprivation so with this feeling of deprivation you think of accum accumulating more and this accumulating you do it by fair means you know, to begin with but then you find that if it's not working you even take to unfair means so all this corruption and everything you know is related to this my gross misunderstanding of trying to fulfill the need of the self which is continuous in a time by way of physical facility and each one of us can find out whether we are already in this loop this vicious loop first thinking that need of the self can be fulfilled by the physical facility which relates to the need of the body and when we find you know take this as you know a belief then we feel that we need unlimited physical facility and this unlimited physical facility is not there because however we accumulate it is limited so we want to you know accumulate more and more by way of production or by way of you know managing things so <clears throat> you start with the way and means which are permitted in the society legal means what we call but if it not works then you take to illegal means so that is what is corruption and however you know uh, you accumulate you still feel that it is limited and therefore you go on accumulating but you have this feeling of deprivation all through so this is what in essence we want to talk about this difference between the need of the body and the need of the self and how they are fulfilled and what are the consequences if we don't understand the difference between the two and the fulfillment of the two